Hi, about a month, a month and a half ago, I made a really detailed uh, video about how to deal with the FBI Money Pack virus. And the FBI Money Pack virus, if you've caught it, uh, you've seen it throws a uh, screen up that won't let you get anywhere in your system. Uh, in that video, I was able to catch it, infect my computer, and do a complete removal with that infection. But in the comments, a lot of people have come up with a much simpler way to deal with this than what I have in my video. And if this works for you, great. If it doesn't, then uh, there's a link to that video in the description down below. Go there, and there's some more advanced techniques for dealing with this system. But uh, in this, there's essentially three things that you want to do here. Or, well, just a couple of three steps that you need to do. Uh, you're going to find the infection, and the infection will be up on your screen. And you won't be able to do much of anything. If you can get to the to your start button and restart your computer or shut down your computer, then do it that way. If you can't uh, shut down or restart your computer through this, then what I would suggest doing is just hit the power button on your computer and shut it down. So I'm going to go ahead and hit restart here. Uh, but let's just assume that this is a shutdown if you have to go that way. Now when you hit restart, you're going to want to hit your F8 key. So what you're going to want to do is, during your restart, you're going to want to just continuously hit your F8 key. And that will take you into safe mode. Now in my computer, sometimes it does that and sometimes it doesn't. So you continuously hit your F8 key as your computer is starting up. Okay, in my case I'm getting keyboard error, so I'm going to wait and it's going to give me an option of F1 boot and I'm going to keep my hand on the F8 key and I'm going to hit the F1 boot and then just keep hitting the F8 key. Okay, now I'm just hitting the F8 key and here we go. Now you've got the option to enter safe mode. Now. Make sure that your computer is unplugged from the internet. I don't know that that's going to matter because you're not choosing network support, but just uh, it couldn't hurt. So we're going to hit safe mode. And we're going to let that go ahead and load up. And we're going to do a system restore here is what we're going to do. We're going to restore to an earlier date on our computer. So if, after that loads up everything and it goes into your safe mode in Windows. Okay, Windows is now starting in safe mode. Let's give it a second. Okay. Alright, now we're starting to get our safe mode screen. Let everything load up. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do here, uh, where it says Windows Help and Support, uh, I'm going to just close that out. As soon as it will let me. I'm going to hit Start. I'm going to go to computer. I'm going to right click on computer. I'm going to just regular click on properties. I'm going to go here and uh, let's see control panel, control panel items. I'm just going to pick control panel off of the top up here. If you can see that, control panel. Just selecting control panel and let's see, adjust your Computer, review, status, find and fix problems. Let's find and fix problems. Uh, hardware, where are we at? System security. Okay, control panel home. Uh, find control panel home. And then go over here to recovery. Click on recovery. Open system restore. It's going to open System Restore, and then you'll hit Next. And then you should be presented with a list of previous restore points that were set up for your computer. If you're not presented with this list, then you don't have a restore point. This computer only seems to have one restore point, so I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And it's going to scan for affected programs and drivers. And I don't necessarily need to do that. Uh, cannot detect, cannot detect, close. I'm going to hit next and it's going to tell me that my computer will be restored to the state it was in before the event down below and the event down below was earlier today so I'm going to go ahead and hit finish 
and it's going to tell me that this cannot be undone and I'm, I'm going to lose any program after that date which is fine by me because we definitely want to lose that virus so uh, it's going to go ahead and run through some screens here and I may edit parts of this out for time and then when it uh, restarts you can let it restart completely and if your virus is gone then plug in your internet and be on your way uh, if this did not work for you and it didn't get rid of your virus then uh, please look at the link in the description and that will take you to a much more comprehensive method also if you want to do this without doing a system restore for whatever reason you can use that link and that will uh, take you to how you can manually remove all of the files from your computer and at this point it's worked for about 40,000 people although this has worked for a lot of people as well and this is a shorter easier method and so if you can go ahead and use this first I'm gonna go ahead and pause while my computer starts back up okay my computer has run through its uh, uh, restore point and it's done the restore and now it looks to be opening up normally as of everything that was happening on that computer as of the date of that restore now before you do a restore uh, as it warns you, please save all of your files if you have any open files. If you can't get to them because of this virus, then uh, uh, you just might lose any changes that you made since the last restore point. And, if, and remember, if you don't have a restore point or this didn't work for you, please look at the link in the description down below. And that will take you to uh, a more comprehensive method of removing this virus. okay it says system restore completed this is a normal thing I get on my screen all the time uh, system restore was completed su successfully the system has been restored to this date and time your documents have not been affected and then I'm just gonna close that and now I have windows back in the normal way that I should so if this has worked for you you can go ahead and plug your internet back in and uh, please comment rate subscribe and uh, Hopefully this has resolved your issue. Once again, if it hasn't, you can uh, look at my other video. Uh, if you're feeling generous, there might be a link down below where you can buy me a beer. That would be appreciated if you feel like it. But thank you very much. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you later.